hey people I have bronchitis so I apologize for this awesome sexy voice that you have to listen to for this tutorial I am doing my second video within my fourth video series of uh, Harry Potter houses today we're doing Hufflepuff and right now you see me prepping her eyes using the hard candy eyeshadow primer and I'm putting that on her eyelids and I'm using an elf concealer brush to get this um, uh, primer underneath of her bottom lash line because we will be putting products there too. And then of course I'm going in with a neutral eyeshadow and I'm just setting uh, all of that eyeshadow primer so that uh, I don't skip lines later. We will be doing a wing on her today so I am going to be using my trusty shadow shields to help me accomplish this. The first color that I'm going in with is called Preppy from Makeup Geek, and it's kind of this dark mustardy shade. Hufflepuff's colors are black and yellow, so those are the colors we're going to be representing today. I wanted to steer clear of making her look like a bumblebee, though. I was afraid that it would be really easy to do that. So you are going to see the colors represented, but I am going to represent them in my own way. And you see me putting that preppy into her um, crease using the Morphe M441 brush. And then I went in with the Morphe M433 brush and inserted more of that preppy in there just to make it a little more dense. And then I went in with a color called Desert Sands by Makeup Geek, which is more of a yellow mustardy shade, and put that in the crease using the Morphe M433 brush just to make it more intense. We're not putting a ton of color into her creases. So um, I went back and forth and made those as dark as I needed. Now you see me going and putting two colors in her outer corner. I am using Americano and Corrupt by Makeup Geek. Americano is a very fudgy, pur not purple, a very fudgy brown and Corrupt is black. And I mixed those two together and put those in her outer crease using that Morphe M433 brush. And then I went back in and I would take that color Desert Sands on the Morphe M441 brush and I would make sure that all of the lines were blended. It's very easy to have patchiness when you use black, so I did a lot of back and forth um, when I inserted the Corrupt and the Americano just to make sure that everything was blended the way I wanted. Next you see me going in with this big eye pencil from Sephora and I was trying to put a white base on her eyelids because I really want to make the yellow pop but this was not giving me the pop that I wanted but I didn't want to do one thing on one eye and then not do it on the other eye. So I did that on the other eye and then I went in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Pearl and I am just putting that all over her eyelids where I'm going to put the yellow and I'm just using a flat shader brush to do this. So the color that I'm going to be using on her lid on top of that is from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm going in with the color called Guilt Trip. And I wet my brush and I put that on a flat shader brush. Uh, I don't remember which one it was at the moment, but I will list it down below. And I packed that on her lid and I went back and forth with packing that on her lid and um, making sure that the edges were blended with her crease and her outer uh, corner colors. And when I got the yellow to the intensity that I wanted, I went back in with the Morphe M433 brush and that Americano in that corrupt color to make sure we didn't lose any depth on our outer corners. Next, I wanted to add a little bit more flair. Hufflepuff is a little more, um, uh, less flashy, I guess. <laughs> Uh, than Slytherin, but I still, it's still Wizards, so I still wanted a little pop of something. So I went in with the NYX uh, Glitter Brilliance. First I put on the NYX Pigment Primer on top of that gold eyeshadow, and then I put that NYX Glitter Brilliance on top, and it's just their gold color, so that we got a good pop of sparkle and yellow on her lid. 
Now we're starting her wing. I'm going in with the Maybelline New York Eye Studio Black Gel Eyeliner as I normally use. And I'm using the Tarte Double-Ended um, Eyeliner Brush to do this. And first I start along her lash line, uh, and then I go into the outer corner to start creating that wing. Once I got that wing about as thick as I wanted it, I went in with a Luxie angled brush. I don't have the number, I'll list it down below. And I coated that with the black eyeshadow called Corrupt from Makeup Geek. I wanted to have a nice, uh, dark, dramatic wing, but Hufflepuff, I just see them as very soft. So I wanted to soften that wing with the black eyeshadow. Next, we're putting on her mascara, and this is the Deuce Punk Black Volumizer Mascara. And she got it in her Ipsy bag, so it's one of those little cute, um, tiny ones. And then we put on her eyelashes, and these lashes are by Kiss. And I gave her the lashes when she left, and I forgot to write down the name of them, so I will also list the name of those down below. Sorry, guys. Now we take off the shadow shields. This was her first time getting her makeup done and I did not warn her how that would feel. So, <laughs> sorry girl. And uh, just going to go in with a makeup wipe and we wiped off all of the fallout on her face. Now we're starting on the skin and I am priming her skin with the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with anti-acne treatments. This has that silicone-y feel. So um, I haven't used it a whole lot, but I think it's probably really good for people with oily skin or acne prone skin. For her foundation today, we're using the NYX Total Control in the color Alabaster. This was my first time using this foundation. It's very liquidy. <laughs> I just wasn't ready for it at first, but I am using a damp real technique sponge to pat this into the skin. This has very beautiful coverage. And it's like, it seems very light, but it also gives great coverage at the same time. I might have to go buy some of this for myself and see how I like it. But the color matched her perfectly. It didn't look cakey. And, you know, at least with the way that I put it on with the uh, beauty sponge, I just really liked how the finish was on her skin when we were all done applying it. So I apologize, I didn't realize that I wasn't recording. We did put Tarte Shape Tape Concealer underneath of her eyes, and she is in the color 8B Porcelain. Now I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder into Medium, and I am using my big Morphe E41 brush to do this. Next, we're setting her eyes, and I'm using the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, and I'm using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. Next, moving on to her eyebrows, she had a beautiful full shape to her eyebrows naturally. I just wanted to darken them up a little bit because I feel it's easy, especially for blondes, to have their eyebrows disappear with heavy eye makeup. And we are using the, <laughs> sorry, Brow Stylist Definer from L'Oreal in Dark Blonde. Next, we are going to finish up her eyes. I am lining her waterline with the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Blacker. And I will be putting these in her bottom waterline and I will be tight lining with it. Next, I am taking the Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush, and I am just taking that Corrupt Black color, and I am lining her bottom lash line with that. 
Then I dipped into that same yellow gold color that we used on her lid, and I am using the Morphe E18 brush to buff out underneath. I wanted it to be dramatic, but again, I see Hufflepuff as a softer house, so I didn't want to go too extreme on her bottom water lines. Then you see me taking that same Deuce Black Mascara and just putting a uh, coat of it on her bottom lashes. Next, I'm going in and highlighting her brow bone and her inner corners, and I'm using that VIP color that is also in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. We are all done with her eyes now, so now we're going to bronze her face. I'm going in with a Sephora brush. I will make sure to list it down below. And I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Bronzer, and this is in the color medium. I think this is a really good bronzer, and we were kind of using a lot of NYX products, so I just decided to keep on with the NYX theme, I guess. It was working really well on her skin. And I'm just using that to um, bronze her cheeks, the outer perimeters of her face, her nose, and her neck. Next, we are putting blush on her cheeks, and I just decided to use my MAC blush in Melba, and I'm using a big uh, angled Morphe brush as normal, just something very, very soft. Again, I wanted to um, represent this specific house of Hufflepuff, but I still wanted to keep the soft, earthy look that I feel like they represent too. Now I'm using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel just to set her eyebrows. And I am now going in with the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. I thought with the gold um, tone, undertones to it, and with the yellow and gold colors we were already using, that this would be a good highlight for her face and for this look. Next, we are doing her lips, and I am using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And this is in the color something. I'll have to list that down below, but it's obviously a brown color. Um, I didn't want to go black because again, I just, um, I want it to be wizardry. I wanted it to be a little dark. I wanted it to be a little um, definitely um, dramatic, but I, I just didn't want to give her any sort of a dark sort of evil feel, kind of like Slytherin does. So I decided to go with this earthy, very dark brown look. And on top of that, I could not find a gold glittery lip gloss, um, at least not one that I had to order. So I ended up doing the same thing as the last one. I ended up mixing that gold eyeshadow that we used on her eyes with a clear lip gloss and mixing that together. And I took the Morphe E35 brush and I layered it on top of her lips so she had a gold sheen on top. We then set all of her makeup using the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray and a fan to dry it all together. Okay, people, so this is the finished look. Danae is house Hufflepuff, and I think that those collars represented her beautifully. It was a nice flare to represent wizardry, but it was also extremely soft and just so pretty like I, I feel about Hufflepuff. I had a lot of fun making this look on her, and I think that it turned out really, really well. And I think that you could also make these colors into a variable, very wearable look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today, and I hope that you learned something. If you did like my tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring that little bell down below, and it will notify you the next time that I upload a video. I apologize for the raspy voice, you guys. I don't know when I'm going to get over this, but I'm trying to get over it quickly. And hopefully I'm not going to sound this terrible for my next tutorial. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.